Hey, welcome back to another video. Um, sorry that I look like complete garbage. This makeup has been on since about seven o'clock this morning and it's like 6.30 at night, seven o'clock at night right now. I had a long day, but it was a good day. I had a lot of fun. I got to hang out with my best friend. We had some alcoholic beverages and we had some really awesome breakfast and it was, it was a very good thing. So today, tonight I should say, today I have another unboxing. I feel like this is all I've been doing recently, but I kind of like them. I think it's fun. Um, I like, uh, I like recording the unboxings and I like watching other people's unboxings and some just kind of comparing what we all got and stuff like that um, let me know if you want me to put um, Sephora and Ipsy together in one video and kind of like do a comparison because those are the only two that I get right now I'm actually getting a new subscription box coming um, in April so I'm really really excited about that um, and I'm really excited to bring that to this channel and see what the subscription box brings. Um, anyway, so like I said, today I have Sephora Play, um, and I just want to jump right in. I already opened the box. I didn't look inside at all, so I have no idea what's in here. Again, I haven't watched any unboxings at all, so I'm excited to see what's in here. All right, and as always on the top, they have the little card with the, the Sephora Play Points right here. I, I'm so terrible because I like never use these. I'm like the laziest person in the whole world. Um, but I might have to start doing that. Does anybody use these? I don't know, let me know, let me know your thoughts. But this has all of the, I almost said the ingredients. It says all of the products in here. And of course we have this wonderful um, bag that is exactly the same as every single month, every single month, every month, it's the same, it's the same. But we're not gonna worry about that and we're just gonna dive right into what we have. I'm just gonna pull out the first thing that I see and it looks like I have a mascara. I already have this mascara. I actually do like this mascara, but since I already have it. This is the Lashcraft Big Volume Mascara. Instantly amp up lashes for big volume. Um, I actually already have it. Hold on. I actually already have it. I've only used it a couple of times, um, but I will go ahead and put this on top of the mascara that I already have on just so we can see what it does and how it works it is a nice mascara I like it Just adding a little bit of life to these lashes here. One thing that I like to do pretty much any time I put mascara on is use a clean wand just to get those lashes where I want them instead of where they want to go. I feel like this one turned out better. So, we got a little bit going on. It is a nice mascara. I do like it, and it doesn't like do anything annoying or flake off or anything like that that I can recall um, 
it doesn't really smell like anything. If anything, it has like a little bit of a clay smell. But this is the the wand. It's not pokey or anything like that. But anyway, I'm probably gonna pass this on to somebody or see what I can do with it. See if anybody will be able to use it. So that's gonna go over here in my donate gym final. Okay, next, I feel a can. This is something that I have also already gotten for. This is a uh, Amica. Perk up dry shampoo. Um, I actually do really like this stuff. And if I recall, it doesn't have a crazy smell. It's kind of like a baby powder-ish smell. I do really like this and I will keep it. I am like a dry shampoo water. Yeah, it kind of has a baby powder smell, but not like excessive baby powder. Um, it's really nice. Um, but I'll probably keep that even though I've already gotten it. So that is a second repeat that I've gotten. I'm pretty sure I got both of these from Sephora. This one makes sense because it's Sephora. All right, next, let's see what we have. Oh, we got a perfume sample. Are we going back to getting perfume samples again? Because I know we used to get them in uh, every single box, but this is Versace Bright Crystal. And this is a nice little pink bottle. Yeah, let's spray it on the car. Not terrible. It's not like overpowering. It's kind of citrusy and florally, more citrusy than floral. It is nice. And it's not like gonna drown you in scent. It is pretty nice. So I do like that. Like I said, it's more citrusy than it is florally, which I like. I'm really terrible at describing scents because I'm the worst. It says flower, fruity, musk. <laughs> Nailed it. It's definitely not gonna give me a headache and I am one of those people that is sensitive to smells and I will get a headache if it's something that's super crazy. Okay, I feel another canister. Is this another dry shampoo? Did I just get two dry shampoos? Hold on, I'm gonna look in the thing really quickly. That delivers texture, volume, and body. So it's not, it's like a texture spray. I don't know. I feel like there's not a lot of product in there though. Like this one feels a lot more full than this one. I don't know, how does it smell? Ooh. That one is very soft and gentle. That one smells a lot more like actual baby powder. Like that's almost exactly baby powder. Okay, next. What does this box think? Ooh, this says NARS on it. A NARS bronzing powder. Ooh, I don't think I've ever had a NARS product maybe a lip before, but I've never had a NARS bronzer before. Okay, so this was the box and it's in another little. This is NARS Laguna. I've heard really good things about this. Okay, um, can we talk about how freaking cute this is? This is the cutest little tiny thing and I love it. It's so soft too, it's, it's very velvety. I have heard very nice things about this specific bronzer. Um, it is pretty full, so I'm pretty impressed with this sample size. This is really nice. Um, I've been using like a highlighter brush for my contour recently. 
I already have contour on that. Whatever. And it has a little bit of a shimmer in it. Ooh, it has a lot of bit of a shimmer in it. So it's nothing super crazy. I will definitely be using that. I'm very happy with this. Very, very happy with it. Okay, and I think I have one more product in here. Yep. This is Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen water and sweat resistant for up to 40 minutes. I guess that's kind of nice. It's a little sunscreen that you can put on underneath your makeup, I guess. It is a weightless, colorless, scentless, oil-free formula for face that smooths the, smooths the appearance of pores, grips makeup in place, and leaves a velvety soft matte finish. Perfect for all skin tones. That's pretty nice. I will definitely be using this. Um, I normally use my Drunk Elephant Primer. Let me see if I can get it out. I usually use this guy. If I know I'm going to be outside all day. And this is SPF 30 and this is SPF 40. It's a clear consistency. Is odorless? It is scentless. Okay. Yeah, it is scentless. I don't smell anything, which is weird. Um, and it's very silicone-y feeling. Like, I don't know if this would actually grip onto your makeup. It's just very, it's very soft. Oh, it's all, it's greasy feeling. I don't know how I feel about that. I'll have to give it a try before I say whether I like it or not, but I feel like I don't like it because this one is very different. One, it's white. Like I feel like I'm putting sunscreen on when I do this and this is almost sticky. And this has a tiny bit of a scent and this is kind of like a sunscreen scent. Yeah, this one has like a sunscreen scent, excuse me, a sunscreen scent. And this is stickier, whereas this is like it's very silicone-y and almost greasy feeling. I don't know how I feel about that. I already have greasy enough skin as it is. And if I'm planning on going outside and sweating, I live in Florida, um, no bueno. But I will have to actually try it and see how it goes before I can say whether I like it or not. But who knows what will happen. What? You can do whatever you want. I am, but that's okay. Me too. You didn't mess up my video. Did you get some like a new smell on there? There's lots of things that have smells in here. Oh, like something. Did you spray something new? Yeah, there's three things that I sprayed that are new in here. It, they all smell good, so like... I agree, none of them smell bad. It's just, it was a pleasant aroma. I'm glad it was a pleasant aroma and did not smell like vomit. Okay, so to recap, we got the NARS Laguna bronzer. Thumbs up. Excited about that. It seems very nice and subtle, not too crazy. I am excited to try that more. We got the Sephora Lash Craft Big Volume. Um, it's a good mascara. It is a repeat, so mm, I'm not gonna keep the one that I got. I'm gonna pass that on, but it is a good mascara, so I can't really complain. Um, and then we got the, the dry shampoo. Again, a repeat, 
I do know that I like it. I will be keeping it because I know that I will use it because I'm a dry shampoo freak of nature. Um, triple sec uh, texture spray. And thinking back, I feel like I have gotten this before. I don't think I knew that it was a texture spray. I think I may have just used it as a dry shampoo. I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like I have gotten this before. Whether I got it in Sephora or I got it in Ipsy, I don't know. But I feel like I have gotten it before. I don't know. Again, I am going to keep it um, and use it because I'm sure I'll like it. And then we got the the Super Goop sunscreen primer. Um, I'm on the fence about this one. Mm, I'm not sure if I like it or not. Um, I will have to use it and it will definitely get a run for its money because I work outside in Florida. So <laughs> this will definitely get the sun, it will get the sweat, it will, it will get all that fun stuff. It does say that it's water and sweat resistant, but for only up to 40 minutes, so we'll see how that works. Obviously, I will have my makeup on for a lot longer than 40 minutes. Most people have their makeup on for more than 40 minutes. And then last but not least, we got the Versace Bright Crystal scent, which is a good scent, I will say even approved by the fiance. So all in all, I would say that this is an okay box. This is definitely not my favorite box. I feel like, I feel like Sephora has really just, I feel like they've been really lazy recently with these boxes. I don't know if that's how everybody feels, but I personally feel like they've been really lazy with these boxes, especially with the exact same bag every single time. And again, I know what they're trying to do. I get it. I get that they're trying to like recycle, reuse, and all that fun stuff. I just wish that it would be a different print. It would be something different. I wouldn't mind the bag so much if it was a different print and it was something cute every month. but. I always know what bag I'm going to get every time and like I don't know I'm not a fan I miss the old bags do I have one over here yeah I miss the old bags like even if I didn't like the pattern on it like I didn't really like this one but I like these bags better like I turn them into like organizers they help me organize my makeup and I one, I don't like these because they're crinkly and they're annoying and they don't fit a lot of products. I do use them. I use them for my project pan. Okay, so like they come with a different saying on the back, but like the front is literally exactly the same. Like the, the patterns are in the exact same place every time, every time. And that just, I don't know. I don't like it. I just don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> um, let me know your thoughts. I would really, I would really like to know because I'm kind of leaning towards I don't like it anymore. Especially if I'm getting six products and like only one of them is something that I'm like, okay, yeah, this was worth it. I'm over it. My Ipsy this month, way better. Again, um, also let me know if you want to see Ipsy and Sephora compared because um, I haven't officially decided if I want to unsubscribe from Sephora. I think it's just I like getting presents in the mail. So let me know if you like the idea of putting Sephora and Ipsy together and kind of comparing them and see which one I like better. I think that's about it. Um, let me know if you want to see um, a tutorial on this eye look. It's actually really simple. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. I think I only used four shadows. Um, but I really like it. There's no eyeliner or anything like that. Nothing crazy. Um, so let me know if you want to see that. Um, let me know if you like this video. Um, feel free to like, comment about whatever. Uh, subscribe. Free. 
free. Not a lot of things are free in this world, but clicking that subscribe button is free. Um, I think that's it for this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.